And today I will talk to you about that that was my PhD project and it was based on the characterization of Pendolino that is a Drosophila gene required for the epigenetic regulation of telomere stability. And I will try to convince you that the alteration of the epigenetic status could impair telomere stability leading to the formation of uh, telomere fusions. As you know, telomeres are chromosomes hands and they solve the two main functions. On one hand, they contrast the chromosome shortening due to the inability of the DNA polymerase to synthesize DNA in a tri-prime, five-prime direction. And on the other hand, they protect chromosome hands against the wrong recognizement as double strand breaks and against the activation of the DNA damage response, a process known as telomere capping. Human telomeres are composed by tandem repeats of the sequence TTAGGG, and the chromosome length is maintained by the action of an enzyme, the telomerase, that adds a new TTAGG at the end of the chromosomes using an RNA as, uh, an RNA as template. Uh, while the telomere capping is mediated by a protein complex, the sheltering, that is composed of six proteins that have the particular feature to localize and function exclusive, exclusively at the telomeres during all the cell cycle. And the different components of the sheltering are really important because they inhibit both the telomerase that, as you know, is active only during the embryogenesis and in the hyperproliferative tissues, and also inhibit the proteins of the DDR. So mutations in one or more of these factors could cause the activation of the telomerase and uh, of the DTR, uh, causing genome instability that is at the basis of different diseases as cancer. Drosophila telomeres are a little bit different from mammalian telomeres because uh, during the evolution, the telomerase has been lost and the chromosome length maintenance is mediated by the transposition of three retroelements, a tetar and tar. But uh, the capping process uh, is conserved because also in Drosophila there is a protein complex that is the functional analog of the sheltering. And this complex is named terminin, and the terminin is composed of four proteins, OP, POP, MOI, and VER, that has the sheltering component mainly localize and function at telomeres during all the cell cycle. In addition to the terminin in Drosophila and to shelter in mammals, there are also other proteins that are involved in telomere maintenance, but that have also other function inside the cell. And uh, some examples are the complex MRN, the kinase ATM, and the protein HP1, and also the protagonist of my project, Pendolino. Uh, the Drosophila is a really powerful model for the analysis of proteins involved in uh, chromosome stability because it's possible to analyze the, um, the karyotype, the Drosophila karyotype, uh, through uh, the analysis of the nar larval neuroblast. And the mutations in all these factors cause uh, telomeric fusions. So, through the analysis of the larval neuroblast, we identified these new gene, Pendolino, which mutations cause a high frequency of telomere fusions that, uh, as you can see, involve all the chromosomes forming this structure that uh, resemble trains of chromosomes. And this is the wild type karyotype of Drosophila that is composed of four pairs of chromosomes. Recently, we identified an apomorphic allele of this gene that has only one fusion per cell, and we name it uh, PEO heterochromatin, PEO H, because of its particular phenotype. In fact, in this mutant, the telomeres that are most involved in the fusions are those with a heterochromatic portion and that appear brighter after dappy staining because the heterochromatin is uh, more condensed than the, the other part, so it's brighter. And are the fourth chromosomes the Y chromosome and the right arm of the X chromosome. And here you can see some examples of these fusions, an XR44 XR, 2 XR4, while this is a dysentric chromosome, and a Y ring formed by the intrachromosomal fusions of the Y chromosome. 
Pendolino is an issue ubiquity invariant protein, and this is the three dimensional model of the protein and the schematization of the different domains. And it is strongly conserved in the different species, and it has also a mammalian homologue, the protein AK tip, that has been demonstrated is involved in uh, telomere stability as pendolino. And the molecular characterization of the different mutant alleles revealed that uh, there is a reduction of the three pair protein isoforms, a reduction that is stronger in the strong allele and lower in the agomorphic allele, as you can see from the Western blot and from the quantification in the histogram. So, uh, because of the particular phenotype and the strong phenotype of fusions observed in the mutant, we started to uh, analyze the uh, mechanism of action <coughs> of pendolino in telomere stability. And first, we tested its interaction with the terminal complex, and the through GST pull down, we demonstrated that the PEO interacts with HOPE through the N terminal domain, and also with MOI and VER through both the N terminal domain and through the UEP domain. So, these results uh, um, allow us uh, to hypothesize that Pendolino could be a new component of the terminal complex, but this is not the case because it not localizes exclusively at telomeres as the terminin is here represented by HOPE, but also along the uh, chromosome's arms. And those are polythene chromosomes that are the particular drosophila chromosomes that are inside the salivary glands and are formed by different cycle of endoreplication without separation and are um, I use it a lot to uh, analyze the localization of protein associated uh, to the chromosomes. And here you can see the pattern of localization of pendolino that binds all the chromosomes, and this localization disappears in the mutant. So then we asked if pendolino could be required for the proper localization of the terminal uh, proteins, but uh, as you can see, both the termin represented by HOPE and also HP1 normally localize at telomeres in PEO mutants, suggesting that the fusions observed in Pendolino are not related to the absence of this factor, but to uh, some different uh, mechanism. And uh, to uh, evaluate and to find this mechanism, we started to uh, focus our attention on the heterochromatic phenotype observed in the POH allele. And here you can see a schematization of the different telomeres of uh, Drosophila chromosomes. And uh, as you can see, the two hands of the Y chromosome, the right end of the X chromosome, and the two hands of the fourth chromosome are associated with the region of the heterochromatin. And we refer to there as the heterochromatic telomeres. While the left arm of the X chromosome and the two hands of the autosomes are associated with the subtelomeric region of euchromatin, and we refer to there as euchromatic telomeres. And what we have done uh, was to analyze the different involvement in fusions of these different telomeres in all the telomere mutants. And uh, these are the results that we obta obtained through this uh, comparative analysis of the fusion phenotype uh, in the different mutant line. And the representative is the uh, behavior of the hex chromosome that, uh, as I said, has a nitrochromatic hand XR and a new chromatic hand XL. And uh, as you can see, the heterochromatic hand is involved in the fusions in the pale leaves with a high frequency, while it is almost never involved in fusions in the other telomere mutants. And an opposite phenotype is observed for the euchromatic hand that is never involved in fusions in the pale allele, while it fuses with a 15% of frequency in the other telomere mutants. So this analysis suggests that this phenotype is specific uh, for mutations in pendolino. And, uh, we asked if the major involvement in fusions of this chromosome could be due to their heterochromatic nature. And to answer to this question, we first performed a really particular genetic experiment 
using this uh, translocated Y that carries a new chromatic portion and one at one end. So here you can see the wild type copy of the Y chromosome, and this is the translocated Y that has a new, a new chromatic telomeres. And we saw that the presence of this translocated Y in a pale mutant background strongly reduce the involvement in fusions of this chromosome and also reduce the intrachromosomal fusion of the Y ring, suggesting that the absence of the heterochromatin at these telomeres reduce the fusions of this uh, uh, chromosome. And so is the heterochromatic nature of this end that uh, uh, induces the fusigenity of this chromosome. And to understand the role of the heterochromatin in uh, uh, the pale mutant background, we asked if uh, changes in the heterochromatin status could alter the pale fusion phenotype. And so we started to analyze the effect of mutations in different factors involved in, involved in uh, uh, chromatin stability in combination with mutations in pendolino. A little overview on uh, uh, heterochromatin and euchromatin, as, as you know, are the two main uh, conformation of the genome. And uh, heterochromatin is the silenced part of the genome and is mainly characterized by the methylation of H3K9 uh, mediated by the histone methyltransferase sur 39 that mediates the recruitment of HP1 which in turn is able to recruit SUVAR39, SUVAR37, SUVAR39, and uh, SUV420, inducing the methylation of the adjacent residues, the spreading of the heterochromatin, and the definition of a condensed and silenced state. By contrast, uh, euchromatin is the active part of the genome and is characterized by high level of acetylation and also by the phosphorylation of H3S10 uh, acted by the GIL1 kinase that is also able to phosphorylate and inhibit SUR39. And these two proteins compete for the same site. So the action of all these enzymes um, cause the definition of the border between heterochromatin and euchromatin. And what we have done is to analyze the effect of mutations in the gene encoding for all these proteins in combination with mutations in pendolino. And interestingly, what we found was that mutations in the main heterochromatin complex, SUVAR39, HP1, SUVAR37, uh, combined with mutation in pendolino, strongly enhance the fusion phenotype. In fact, the fusion frequency uh, increase from one fusion per cell to two 2.4 fusion per cell, suggesting a strong genetic interaction between pendolino and the heterochromatin status. And interestingly, we found also that mutation in the GIL1 kinase that mediates the euchromatin formation rescue the uh, fusion frequency. So on the light of these results, so we uh, understand that there is some relationship between uh, the fusion in pendolino and the status of uh, the chromatin. And then we started to better analyze the, the chromatin status. And first, we analyzed the levels of H3K9 demethylation and trimethylation. And as you can see, both from the Western blot and from the quantification, uh, mutations in pendolino cause the strong decrease of both the histone marker. A reduction that is uh, specific for mutations in pendolino, in fact, uh, in the other telomeres mutant as Caravaggio and Verrocchio, uh, there is no alteration of H3K9 uh, methylation level. And a reduction that is also specific for telomeres. In fact, as you can see, here are uh, the telomeres of polyton chromosomes where there is a clear telomeric signal of the H3K9 methylation and this signal uh, completely disappears in pale mutants. Uh, then we asked if this reduction of H3K9 methylation could be related to a reduction of uh, SUVAR39 protein level. But as you can see from this uh, Western blot, uh, SUVAR39 protein is still 
present and not altered in uh, Pale Mutants. So uh, the relationship is due to some other mechanism that is independent from the action, the direct action of uh, the direct level of Suvar 39. And to understand the relationship between uh, this protein, we started also to perform a lot of uh, communoprecipitation experiments to uh, evaluate possible protein-protein interaction between this factor. But unfortunately, we did not find any, um, any interaction. And I report to you, here to you two examples. This is a, a co-immunoprecipitation experiment in S2 cells uh, performed with the PEO HA and suar 39 gfp And as you can see, PEO fails to precipitate suar 39 And similarly, uh, PEO also fails to precipitate the GL1. So uh, the strong genetic interaction that we found are not due to uh, protein interaction, but to uh, some functional relationship between this protein. Another um, interesting protein that we analyzed is uh, this deacetylase uh, PD3. And that has been demonstrated um, if silenced because the increase of H3 um, and H4 acetylation and the reduction of uh, this uh, eastern uh, methylation, but uh, the specific increase of H3 canine 3 methylation at telomeres. And what we had done was uh, to analyze the effect of uh, the silencing of this protein in a pale mutant background. And as you can see, there is a reduction of the fusion frequency and uh, the rescue of the phenotype. So it seems that when this protein lacks, we have an increase of uh, eastern methylation at telomeres that maybe in some way restore the heterochromatic status at telomeres or the methylation marker at telomeres and rescue the fusion frequency. So for this first part on heterochromatin, um, all our results allow us to hypothesize a possible model of action of pendolino that maybe through its uh, ubiquity in domain stabilize the complex suvar 39 suvar 37 HP1 stabilizing the heterochromatin methylation. When PEO levels decrease, there is a destabilization of the complex that causes the reduction of the methylation. And uh, this model is supported by the results of the genetic uh, interaction as mutations in these factors enhance uh, the uh, fusion frequency and the phenotype, while mutation in the GIL1 kinase rescue the phenotype uh, maybe because they um, in some way restore the balance between heterochromatin and eochromatin. So now we are uh, trying to validate this model and to understand what happened uh, specifically at telomeres and uh, why the reduction of the methylation at telomeres caused the fusions. Another uh, part uh, of this project uh, is focused on the replication problem because the Heterochromatin is late replicated because of its, its condensed state, so it needs to be relaxed before to be replicated. And uh, there are a lot of proteins that, that are involved in this process, and one of these is uh, PCNA, that is a DNA clamp that mediates the opening of the double helix, the assembly of the replication machinery, and also the uh, recruitment of the remodeling enzymes at the end of the replication process. And what we have done is to analyze the general replication level in PEL mutants and also to analyze uh, the level of uh, uh, this protein. And we used the, the uh, assay with the head U, uh, in which uh, the label of nucleotide is incorporated in the DNA during the replication. And we saw that uh, in pale mutants there is a strong reduction of the HDU positive cells. And uh, so it correlates with a reduction of the replication. And uh, this reduction of the replication level also correlates with a reduction in uh, PCNA localization and PCNA staining, both on interface nuclei and on polythene chromosomes. 
where you can see the PCNA positive cells strongly decrease. So it seems that in Pendolin there is also an alteration of the replication. And to um, evaluate the relationship between this alteration of replication and the, with the fusion uh, frequency, we tested also the effect of another protein, SUR, that is a suppressor of under-replication and has been shown is involved both in uh, heterochromatin replication and in, it, in heterochromatin formation and maintenance. In fact, it interacts uh, both with the PCNA and with the SUVAR39 and HP1 and it seems that this protein could be like a bridge between uh, heterochromatin replication and heterochromatin formation and maintenance. And we analyzed the effect and the, in, uh, the effect of mutations in these uh, uh, proteins uh, uh, combined with mutations in pendolino and also the functional relationship between uh, pendolino and SUR. And interestingly, what we found is that uh, uh, individuals bearing mutations both in pendolino and SUR uh, shown a reduction of the fusion frequency, so the absence of SUR partially rescued the biofusion phenotype. And uh, also that the pendolino interacts with SUR, at the end we found an interactor, and this interaction is mediated by the C-terminal domain of the SUR protein. So on the light of this both genetic and physical interaction between pendolino and SUR, we asked uh, which was the relationship, uh, the functional relationship of these two proteins and why the absence of SUR um, changed the fusion phenotype. And to answer to this question, we performed again an EDUSA, but on this time we analyzed the different phases of replication. And one of the advantages of the ADUSA is to allow to distinguish the different replication phases. And we classified the three main phases. An S1 phase of early replication in which is replicated only the U-chromatin. An S2 phase of mid-replication in which the U-chromatin is replicated and also the heterochromatin starts to be replicated and an S3 phase of late replication in which only the heterochromatin is replicated. And we analyzed the frequency of each single phase in the single and double Newtons compared to the control. And first, if, if you focus your attention on the red column, you can see that mutations in pendolino does not cause an alteration of the, the uh, <coughs> phase frequency as uh, the percentage of the nuclei in the different phases is comparable to the wall type. While mutations in SUR, and this is not, not also from literature, cause the reduction of the nuclei in S3 phase and uh, the increase of the nuclei in S1 phase. And this is because the absence of SUR caused the early replication of the heterochromatin. And interestingly, when uh, um, mutations in PEO are combined with mutation in SUR, we observe the same behavior of a SUR single mutant. So it seems that also in Pendolino there is this anticipation of heterochromatin replication. And <coughs> we thought that uh, this anticipation in some way prevents the formation of the fusions. And this is the reason why we observed the uh, reduction of the fusion frequency and of the fusion phenotype. Another aspect that uh, we are testing now is the role of the DDR in uh, pale mutants. And we saw that both in the ecomorphic allele and in the null allele, there is the activation of the DDR and uh, the phosphorylation of the H2AT marker. And as you can see, in the ecomorphic allele, there are only some spots of uh, phosphorylated H2AT <laughs> while in the null allele, the fossae are on all the nucleus. And our idea is that uh, these spots co-localize with the heterochromatic telomeres uh, that are those that are fused, uh, while uh, in these mutants, all the chromosomes are involved in the fusion. So, so uh, the, da the damage uh, is extended 
uh, more extend um, compared to the apomorphic allele. So now our idea is that in pendolino mutant, the alteration of the heterochromatin status causes the stall of the replication fork and the reduction of the replication. And this block of the replication induces the activation of the DNA damage response and in response to this activation, the telomeres uh, start to fuse. So now we are uh, doing some experiment to validate uh, this model and to um, analyze the interaction and the uh, cross-link between this process. But this is our idea, idea and this was my PhD project. And so that's it. I want to thank my supervisor Laura Ciapponi and this is uh, our little group. Uh, Maurizio Gatti, that is the big uh, boss. Uh, Eugenia Andreeva from the University of Novosibirsk uh, with, mm, uh, that collaborate with us on the SUR project. Also the professor Giovanni Cenci, all our lab. Again, Fabian, all his lab and you for your attention. Thank you.